Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back. Uh, today, John Coleman, my partner, and I, Art Kirsch, are speaking with one of our favorite guests, Bill Jordan, because he knows how to embrace the boom. Embrace the boom. Cups up, everybody. Embrace everybody. the boom. It's right off the bat, a plug right out of the box. I Shameless plug. Hey Bill. Hey, hey, Bill, I love your mugs, but, you know, they're so big, they, they hold a lot of coffee. The problem is it goes, you know, that much coffee gets cold. And I need you to make the next generation of these mugs with a heater coil inside. I can just plug it in and it never gets cold. Can you do mm. that for me? Might have to up the price. <laughs> That's kind of fancy. Yeah. Bill, you've I noticed, I hope, a that... Microwave. Uh, I use a microwave when that happens. I do, too. Yeah. What can I tell you? It's a so, cheap, cheap so way out. What are, what are you guys doing today? I'm, I'm um, uh, working on all sorts of little projects around the house, but um, you guys look like you're getting ready to flee the coop. I'm ready to go to the beach. Uh, this this will be my first day at the beach in maybe two years. But because mm. of the COVID nineteen, you know, this is Southern California. In Southern California, we could go to the beach. I go to the beach in January, or February, but I haven't this year. And so this will be my first day at the beach. Now, Bill, you're in North Carolina. You're not too far from the beach, as I understand it, right? Raleigh area. Yeah, we, in fact, went to the beach already. We went the week before uh, Memorial Day. So the COVID-19 stuff was still going on. None of the restaurants were open for customers. The, it was all takeout. Our favorite restaurant is the length of the Crystal Coast from Emerald Isle on down to Atlantic Beach. And it's a pretty long drive, so it was pretty far to go to do um, takeout. So my wife loves just doing stuff in the kitchen anyway. So we had a grocery store nearby and she pretty much fixed all of our meals, and I have pretty simple taste. I eat mainly for function rather than for some kind of craving. And uh, that, the only thing about this 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 trip was um, it, it rained virtually every day. I mean, poured down rain. Uh, Tropical Storm Albert was coming up the coast. It was beautiful driving to the beach, and it was beautiful driving home. But other than that, <laughs> it was rain. But it was still well, a good know, beach. That happens to me only when we rent a place. When, you know, if we go to the beach and rent a place, whenever we're there, you know, like full coming home is beautiful. While we're renting, paying all that good money, it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> well, Makes me wish I were a fisherman. So, yeah, well, you know, I try. I, I didn't even take my fishing poles off the top of the car. I had them cinched down on the roof rack, and I, I never took them off the top of the car. It was uh, it was wild. I mean, it was a good relaxing time, but uh, and a nice change of scenery. We do try to make this trip every. We used to go in the autumn, like after Labor Day, the prices drop, but then you're running right there in the, right in the meat of hurricane season for us, and so we were getting evacuated a couple of times, and yeah, it yeah. just got. Are you a? Why are don't we you a? Uh, are you are you like me? You you're a sun worshiper you do you like to lay out and soak up the sun uh if i'm you know if i'm listening to music or reading a book i can do that i can't just lie there i can't lie there if i'm reading a book or listening to music uh but then yes because i mean i think i feel physically better by the time winter is over and it starts getting you know it gets to be like april and may and the sun's out and man i've just got to be in it I, there's something about that natural vitamin d that just yeah, there's a I've there I definitely feel a difference in myself. Yeah, you, Art, uh, you don't you don't uh, you you can't take a lot of sun. So no, well, you, actually, I used to live in the sun, twenty four seven, during the summers, and because of all that, uh, I am uh, basically forbidden to be in a beach when there's sunshine, uh, right. any kind of daylight because of uh, uh, little basal cells and melanomas and other kind of yeah. guys that I fight off. But uh, I still go to the beach, although I haven't for a while because of the uh, COVID-19 thing. Uh, I practice uh, at least once a week at the beach, uh, Taiji, uh, but that's normally from 7 to 8 a.m. Uh, so we're, yeah. we're gone by then. But I have a question for you, Bill. So you went recently, and I know I saw 
a whole bunch of posts on your, uh, 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 some of your Facebook pages. Uh, but uh, when people were out there, uh, either at the beach or certainly at some of the takeout places uh, nearby, were they wearing masks and doing things differently uh, because of uh, uh, COVID-19? Or was it pretty much uh, as uh, business as uh, usual? You know, I don't, I don't remember seeing too many masks. I, we may have worn them when we went to the grocery store. That's a good question. I think, I think we wore them when we went to the grocery store, we went to a store. Uh, but, you know, on the beach, here, here's the thing. Maybe it's elsewhere, too. With North Carolina, it's almost like they flip a coin as to what you can do and what you can't do. And here's the example I've got for you. If you were going to the beach, now this may have changed since we came back. If I was surf fishing on the beach, I did not need a mask and it was okay to surf fish. It was illegal to bring a lounge chair and sit on the beach. Yeah. If you're holding a fishing pole, you're okay and you're safe. Yeah, but if I've you're sitting that. in the line, it makes no sense. I know. It, it's the, uh, it, you know, it's because somebody, some doctor or somebody like that is making the rules in in our case in Sacramento, you know, in your case, it ain't at the beach, you know, they're somewhere else. Yeah. Columbia, inland, and they never they don't know how to spell beach. Yeah. So I have a question, guys. You know, we I guess the three of us have been living most of our lives near the coast. So the word beach is we all know what it is. But Art, you remember living in New York, um, people would talk about the Jersey Shore. Right. It wasn't the beach, it was the shore. And when I lived in Chicago, of course, it was the lake. The Go lake. down to the lake. There's, you know, Or if you're in Minnesota, there ain't no sh beaches. It's, well, people do make, they made a, a big di distinction about a sandy beach. So if you live in, a, in an area with lakes, you know, there was the lakeside where you could fish, but it wasn't pleasant to sit it was filled with grasses and weeds and trees and whatever so somebody would build a sandy beach well, and say, usually you know, you know, usually john, you'd have to pay to get to the sandy beach john you yeah. know this whole beach terminology thing maybe I love we ought to maybe we, are, maybe we ought to have another talking, we'll, we'll have another session we'll have another session on soda pop and tonic oh i like that that would be up my alley. Yeah, uh, Bill, uh, do you mind being the focus of attention while I'm talking? He does. Art, Art, <laughs> Art I'm calling you on this. You're yeah. the man switching the cameras. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Art. <laughs> Bill, sleep for the switch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but we're going to have a long crawl under you saying uh, embrace the boom. Yeah. Good. No, so, guys, it... it, it, it I guess where I would go in the, with this is, is there a, a regional difference when it comes to summertime and you want to go to the, quote, what I call the beach? If it's a lake, it's a river. Um, in fact, around here, a lot of people go to the Colorado River. And so they're going to the river. Um, and I don't know that there are any beaches at the river, but, you know, they're all in boats and jumping into the... Is, is there a regional difference, do you suppose, between what people do where there's lakes as opposed to beaches do, do we all do we all use the water the same way i i probably they probably use it the same way but yeah there's a different terminology for it i mean we've got several big lakes near where we live and people will say we're going to the lake and yeah. then you have to say which lake you going to lake jordan you going to lake gaston uh yeah. You know, uh, Car Lake, there's all kinds of lakes around here uh, within driving distance. I think uh, for us, if you say you're going to the beach, and again, there's so many, it's like, well, which one? Right. You've got outer banks up near the Virginia line on down to South Carolina, and there's beaches along the way, all kinds of beaches. So, but if I do hear somebody say, we're going to the shore, I know that they ain't from around here. <laughs> <laughs> We don't go to the shore. We go to the coast. We say, hey, I'm going down to the coast this weekend, or we're going to the beach this weekend. Yeah. I See, I think of them as different experiences because uh, just my my experience has been that when, when you go to a lake for the summer enjoyment, the lakes are not developed. You know, they're, they're 
boardwalks and restaurants lining the shore of the lake, like there are at in you know major areas in South Carolina, here in San Diego, Newport Beach uh, where art is, um, or even in New York. Uh, I grew up on Long Island Sound, and there were beaches and there were boat clubs and there, every place had a restaurant on the water. Um, I don't think that happens around lakes and certainly not on rivers. Rivers are much more restricted because of the government or something. I don't know. Uh, so it's a different experience. Uh, people boat more on lakes and rivers, don't they? For boating, boating and fishing? Uh, I, yeah, I think so. There, there are places where you can pull in and eat. I, I've done that up at Lake Gaston, which is on the uh, kind of like the Virginia line. Uh, nice place to just, you know, pop in and, and eat and probably, you know, get, if you need to gas up your boat or something like that. And up where I'm from, Newport News, Virginia, there's a great little restaurant, the Crab Shack, right at the James River Bridge. Mm. Uh, and, man, you you watch, you can sit there in the afternoon and watch that sunset. It is yep. gorgeous, you know. Yeah. But there is not, something about nothing, the water. Nothing, nothing like the beach. I mean, the beach, there's a restaurant every corner. Yeah. There's yeah. also but on the beach, some... people are diving into the waves. There's uh, generally a wide expanse of sand. You might yeah. have uh, uh, less of that. Also, I remember lakes, uh, particularly when I went to a scout camp, uh, in my case, Ten Mile River in upstate New York. Uh, to me, a lake uh, was uh, identified by canoeing which yeah. I guess you could do kayaking at, at, on the ocean, but uh, yeah. canoeing, which I, I used to do a lot of uh, in, in summer camp, and a float out in the middle, maybe uh, 30 yards uh, out that's, where, where people would jump on true. a wooden float and, and you jump don't off. See floats, you don't see floats in the that's ocean. A, right. Yeah. R rarely, I think they're out there. You, or, you no, see wait, I, one thing I want to know about is that, I, you know, we, we like you and... We we know you have a large following, but you have a lake named after you, Bill. Uh, I kid about that. It's named after my uncle Everett. It's Everett Jordan Lake. Are you serious? Is he yeah. really a relative? No. Oh, wow. Well, I, no. My, I do. I, I. He's since deceased. My dad's brother was named Everett. Everett Jordan. There is an Everett Jordan Lake. It's not named after him. But uh, it's just coincidence. I tell people it was named. You know, they hey, know I'm kidding around. Does they it, know I'm kidding. Does it, is it spelled A-N? Yeah. I'm sorry. It is your family lake. Yeah, take it. Let's go with it. <laughs> yeah. Let's start, just don't ask, me to pay real, don't ask me to pay real estate tax on it. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, guys, I hope you enjoy the water for the summer. Um, I, there is something about the, the water, whether it's a beach or a river or a lake or whatever it is that uh, is, um, is I think maybe the first form of recreation, people jumping in the water. Uh, and in my case, because of my skin condition, a cold shower. <laughs> so that's, that's my, that's, my trip that's to the cure, water. That's a cure for a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, All right. that's one more shameless plug, Bill. If uh, people huh. want to find out more about what you do and uh, getting your, uh, cups and things like that. Where can they go? Uh, well, I mean, you can follow me on Facebook. It's Bill Jordan, and it's uh, basically this mug is my profile picture and my background picture and all that stuff. Embrace the boom, but it's Bill Jordan, J O R D A N, uh, there on Facebook, and it's a public page. So just click like, and I try to post stuff every day that's uh, either amusing or to make you think or or laugh. Hopefully, sometimes it may bring a tear, but that's all part of the human condition. Um, I've got uh, a website. It's BillJordanEmbraceTheBoom.com, and you can order these. We keep saying it's a cup. It's actually a mug. It's 15 ounce. It's 15 ounce, whatever you want to put in it. So, I mean, somebody sent me one the other day. They just bought it and said first beverage was a beer. Hey, that works for me. So um, that's where you do it. And also, I've got a YouTube channel. Also, just type in Embrace the Boom, kind of like, and, and play it off of you guys. You guys, I think, have linked me or something on the Celebrating Act 2 page. Yeah, we're linked everywhere. Yeah. We're linked up. We're linked with the water, with so, the ocean, with so the I'm, river. And, and if I may, I mean, if, I, I didn't do a very good job of explaining this. Embrace the boom. Boom references being a baby boomer. We knew that. Well, Come I mean, on, if, Bill. If you're, yeah, but if somebody watching may not know that. I know you guys know, but if you're watching this, that's what embrace the boom means. And that just means 
hey, if we're still here, we've still got a reason to be here. And I just want to uh, empower and encourage and inspire my fellow baby boomers to live the best life we can live. So, so I want to raise a toast to embrace the Jack Daniels. Here's the Whatever it takes. 15 <laughs> ounces is a lot of it. But basically, live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. As embrace I like the it. boom and feel free to embrace the boom on the water. All right, guys, I, guys I, I'm sorry to drag this out, but I got to go to the beach today, all right? So okay. well, forgive see ya. me. Bye. We can't Safe end. travels. Bye-bye. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.